Guys, ich sage mir jeden Abend, wenn ich abends ins Bett gehe, sage ich mir, ich mache ab, ab sofort keine YouTube-Videos mehr, weil ich immer so tolle, nette Kommentare bekomme. Und dann morgens stehe ich auf und sage mir, boah, dieses Video, boah, das muss ich mit der Welt da draußen teilen. Ich muss meinen Beitrag dazu, dazu leisten. Film ab, zieht euch mal den Typen hier rein, das ist wirklich krass. Like you don't need to have all these things, but you better have most of them. Family, friends, career, educational goals, plans for, you know, time outside of work, uh, attention to your mental and physical health, etc. You know, those are that's what life is about. And if you don't have any of those things, ja, schöne Autos, schöne schöne Uhren, schönes Haus, alles super, super. Well, then all you've got left is misery and suffering. So that's that's a bad that's a bad deal for you. So so once you, but once you set up that, that goal structure, let's say, and that's really, in many, in many ways, that's what you should be doing at university. Is, is, that's exactly what you should be doing, is trying to figure out who it is that you're trying to be, right? And you, you, you aim at that. And then you use everything you learn as a means of building that person that you want to be. And, and I really mean want to be. I don't mean should be, even those things, those things are going to overlap. And it's important to distinguish between those because that's partly, and this is back down to the micro routine analysis. So if I say, well, you're going to try to make yourself more industrious. Okay, number one, specify your damn goals because how are you going to hit something if you don't know what it is? That isn't going to happen. And often people won't specify their goals too because they don't like to specify conditions for failure. So if you keep yourself all vague and foggy, which is real easy because that's just a matter of not doing as well, then you don't know when you fail. And people might say, well, I really don't want to know when I fail because that's painful. So I'll, I'll keep myself blind about when I fail. That's fine, except you'll fail all the time then. You just won't know it until you've failed so badly that you're done. And that can easily happen by the time you're 40. So, so I would recommend that you don't let that happen. So that's willful. <lacht> Shit, man. Der hat mich irgendwie total erkannt, der Typ. Aber wahrscheinlich geht's vielen Leuten so. Ähm, deine Goals, äh, Forgy, ja, also quasi deine Ziele, nie richtig zu definieren, weil du dann auch nicht versagen kannst. Ja? <lacht> Also, das ist ja ganz klar, ne? wenn du gar nicht weißt, was deine Ziele sind, dann kannst du auch nicht wissen, wenn du sie nicht erreicht hast oder wenn du versagt hast. Ja? Ähm, ich denke, da hat das sehr, was, sehr Wichtiges angesprochen. Ja, ähm, ja finde ich sehr gut. Hat mich überzeugt. Deswegen wollte ich es jetzt teilen. Blindness, right? You could have known, but you chose not to. Okay, so once you get your goal structure set up, you think, okay, if I could have this life, it looks like that might be worth living, despite the fact that it's going to be, you know, anxiety provoking and threatening and there's going to be some suffering and loss involved in all of that obviously the goal is to, to have a vision for your life such that all things considered that justifies your effort okay so then what do you do well then then you turn down to the micro routines it's like okay well this is what i'm aiming for how does that instantiate itself day to day week to week month to month and that's where something like a schedule can be unbelievably useful google calendar it's like make a damn schedule and stick to it okay so what's the rule with the schedule it's not a bloody prison That's the first thing that people do wrong. They say, well, I don't like to have, follow a schedule. It's like, well, what kind of schedule are you setting up? Well, I, sh I have to do this, then I have to do this, then I have to do this, you know, and then I just go play video games because who wants to do all these things that I have to do? It's like, wrong. Set the damn schedule up so that you have the day you want. That's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was going to set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, practically speaking, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. And obviously there's a bit of responsibility that's going to go along with that because if you have any sense, one of the things that you're going to insist upon is that at the end of the day, you're not in worse shape than you were that, than at the beginning of the day, right? Because that's a stupid day. If you have a bunch of those in a row, you just dig, you know, you dig yourself a hole and then you bury yourself in it. It's like, sorry, that's just not a good strategy. It's a bad strategy. So maybe... Also Leute, der Typ, der ist, echt, der ist richtig gut. Also der, ich glaube, da haben sich auch so einige deutsche Coaches was abgeschaut von dem... Ich glaube, der ist schon ein bisschen länger around. Uh, Jordan Peterson. Ich werde mal gleich hier ähm, schauen, ob der nicht irgendwelche Bücher auf Amazon hat. Ah, The 12 Rules of a Life. Für 9,90 Euro. <lacht> Tja. Hallo, grüße euch und herzlich willkommen. Ich Auf jeden Fall, glaube ich, sehenswert. Gutes Zeug, Mann. Ich verlinke euch das Ding.